want to move your life forward in the most positive way using astrology, then let's talk about the astrological patterns for January 2016. And let me begin first by saying Happy New Year. I'm wishing you a great and powerful year. And the first thing I want to talk about for January really flows in that direction because we have Mars, the planet of action, moving into a very long transit in the sign Scorpio. It enters Scorpio on January 3rd, and it's going to stay in that sign until August. Actually, it's going to go a little bit into the early part of Sagittarius and then go back into the late degrees of Scorpio. But you have to remember that Mars is extremely powerful in Scorpio. That's the ancient rulership. Mars in Scorpio is like a dog after a bone. It is investigative. It is in pursuit of solving mysteries. It is the kind of energy that goes through brick walls in order to get what it wants. It's a very powerful Mars energy at our disposal. It's highly emotional though too, and very passionate and intense. So let me say this, if you are a Scorpio, in the past two years, you've had transiting Saturn on your sun, or if you have Scorpio planets, transiting Saturn hit those planets. Now, Saturn has moved into Sagittarius, but that transit that you received from Saturn to your Scorpio planets will be reactivated soon. So you're going to go to the next level. If you have no planets in Scorpio, that's okay. You're still going to intensely feel Mars in Scorpio at your fingertips. You will have incredible, passionate, focused energy at your disposal. In January, Mars goes into Scorpio and goes through the early degrees of the sign. And then when we get more into February and March, Mars will hit those late degrees of Scorpio and then hit the early degrees of Sagittarius and then retrograde back and forth. Basically, Mars will be transiting for that entire period, especially the degrees from 23 Scorpio to about eight Sagittarius, going back and forth in that zone. The reason I'm spending so long on this is because I really want you to understand the power that we have with Mars in Scorpio. This is when you can transform on a cellular level. Your DNA can shift, spiritually speaking, you know, just symbolically here. But that is how much we can accomplish with Mars in Scorpio. The focus is laser beam. The passion is intense, particularly if you have planets in Scorpio. And if you have planets in early Sagittarius, you'll get the benefit from this Mars energy also. So we begin that in January. Next, on January 5th, we have Mercury turning retrograde in Capricorn. Now it's gonna stay retrograde from the 5th to the 25th of January. And during that time, it's gonna go into the very early degrees of Aquarius and then retrograde back into Capricorn. So it's mostly gonna retrograde in the sign Capricorn. Now it's gonna be working intensely with the sun in Capricorn and with Pluto in Capricorn. And you need to pay attention to this special focal point of energy on January 9th at the new moon, because then Mercury will be in Capricorn along with the sun and moon and Pluto. Please know, Mercury does not have to be a bad time. Please don't program negative things taking place. It's actually an incredibly productive time for thinking and organizing and making things happen. And it's gonna be working with that Plutonian energy to help you sort of integrate a new sense of empowerment. I do wanna say, that starting mid-January to the end of the month is a very special time because Mercury will be activating that Pluto and Uranus energy at that time. And there may be some phenomenal insights for you. On January 7th, we have Jupiter, the planet of expansion and reward, turning retrograde in Virgo. So if you're born in September, if you have a Virgo sun or Virgo planets, then you've been receiving this beautiful conjunction from Jupiter, and that's a special reward time. If you're not a Virgo, but you might have other planets in that sign, then that is activating that reward time for those particular planets. And maybe it's time that you schedule a consultation to check that out. But when Jupiter goes retrograde, that's when we get to internalize and integrate a lot of what has been stirred up 
in the months prior to that Jupiter cycle. Now Jupiter is going to stay in Virgo until the summer months of 2016. So this is going to work hand in hand with this Mercury retrograde in Capricorn and this new moon coming up in Capricorn. It's all very practical grounded. It's all very detailed and precise. You're going to want to use checklists. You're going to want to create an organized plan for how you're going to move your life forward. And that Jupiter retrograde will help you to do that. The next key thing I want to talk about for January is on the 23rd, and that's when we have the big, beautiful full moon in Leo. That is so nice because that's when we embrace confidence. That's when we embrace our own inner heart chakra and our light and we let it shine. And that's going to be really wonderful after all that Plutonian, Capricorn, Saturn-y kind of energy that happens earlier in the month. So you have a lot of work to do in January. So to summarize the astrological patterns for January, we have a lot going on in the beginning of the month. We have Mars on the 3rd entering Scorpio, staying there until August. On the 5th, we have Mercury going retrograde. It starts off retrograde in Aquarius, but it soon goes back into Capricorn. And then on the 7th, we have Jupiter going retrograde in Virgo, helping you to get detailed and organized and integrate where you need to make important changes. On the 9th, we have that new moon in Capricorn. Please watch my video to find out more about that. And on the 23rd, we have the big full moon in Leo. Prepare for that and get ready to celebrate yourself at that time. There's a lot going on for this first month of 2016. Let yourself blossom. Thank you. I'm Kathy Rose.